day of heated testimony over the Add the Words bill. It would add gender identity and sexual orientation to the state's civil rights law. And again today, plenty of people speaking out on both sides of the issue. Jake Melder has more from inside the State House. As day two of public testimony dawned on the State House, there was a certain level of expectation. On one side, personal stories of discrimination and abuse. On the other, a fear of government bulldozing freedom. But what came as a surprise today is that people from the same slice of society took opposing stances. And keep your testimony as brief as possible. In three hours of testimony, only 22 people were heard a small section of the hundreds who have signed up. But who can blame them? This debate centers around an issue that hits deep. You have the clergy. My call as minister of the good news of Jesus Christ is to proclaim justice for the oppressed and to stand with people as Christ would. I have people in my church that wonder, um, will there be that point where our church is sought after to be, to be attacked or closed down for our views and our beliefs over how we see and interpret scripture. That's when the lawyers got involved. One attorney said the threat to churches or businesses was real, citing a lawsuit in Houston, Texas. Well, it might sound great to say churches have constitutional rights. Look them up. You have them. Enjoy them. That's cold comfort to a pastor who has been subpoenaed. I have not found anything in the bill that would restrict the rights of clergy to say or think what they want at, at any time or at any place. Without doubt, both sides bring passionate arguments. To be given our First Amendment rights only if the government agrees with our beliefs is just completely wrong. I choose to live in this beautiful state, yet I do not feel entirely comfortable here. Everyone should be free to go to a public restroom without fear of people of confused sexual orientation exposing themselves to our children. I saw him rush home from school every day, drop his books and run to our bathroom, barely making it at times because of not being safe in restrooms at school. My roommate at the time, um, she is a lesbian and I were attacked by two people on Brogan Street here in Boise. I don't think we need to add these words to prosecute a hate crime in Idaho. And the debate rages on. Outgoing Police Chief Mike Masterson also rose in support of the bill. He said it was necessary to build trust and safety, a critical part of a good society. Testimony on the bill is going on right now and is expected to continue into tomorrow morning. In studio, I'm Jake Melder, Idaho on your side.